What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on the number one team of the country in Virginia Tech. And, hey, we, we took care of business. Offensively, we've done our part. We scored about a touchdown, a quarter, more or less. And it was our defense, though, that really shined. Just Virginia Tech couldn't get anything going offensively. If any of you have played Virginia Tech before, they just want to run the ball the entire time. And a lot of it's just handing off to their top halfback, which was an impact player in the last game. But our defense just took care of it. And we didn't turn the ball over. I think we turned the ball once or twice. And somehow we still came out with a 20-point victory. So after this game, it kind of showed me, you know, you can see the talent difference. Yeah, we still won 20 to nothing. This tells me starting next season or a new dynasty or something, I'm going to come up with something where I can make this a little bit tougher. I think it's the offensive line or the line play in general is all that I would want to tweak. If I could figure out how to just make, you know, make it a little tougher for our offensive line to not get, you know, push people around so much and for the opposing defensive lines to do their part. I think the back seven for both teams do fine. It's just the, the line play. I think it's what, for whatever reason, at the fault Heisman, is I, th I guess I've surpassed it. I guess I've played this game for so long, I need to find out a new challenge. So I can either try to tinker with sliders, which I'm not a big fan of, or I may do a house rule or two. I, I don't know. I'm, I I've gotten some suggestions on some house rules, but it's stuff that I just don't, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me personally for what I want to do. I'll come up with, it, with something. I'll figure it out. But I'll if I do any changes, it'll probably be start of next season. So that being said, we still got some more games left to play. We got two more games left in the regular season. Today we're taking on Tulane. It's maybe our second to last home game of the season. They're your average team across the board. They're four and six, C overall talent, and every one of their stats is like dead center of the field. We're fourth in the country. It's I'm starting to think that it, it may be possible we may be able to compete for a national championship things are going to have to go our way though some teams ahead of us are going to have to lose in order for us to get one of those two spots and of course we got to win out so we'll see what happens with that so let's go to in season recruiting we are down to one last player and this keith magruder middle linebacker he is visiting today so make sure you stay to the end of the video to see what he will do and just looking here is his academics playing time location and coach philosophy he doesn't like any of those so i just may leave it at program prestige and see if that's good enough for him we're neck and neck with tennessee and ohio state but i think if we win today we have a shot and that's it for recruiting we've already loaded up on the rest of those players let's go to sports illustrated look at some things let's go to bowl rankings we are third wow this is actually better than the i guess that's the coaches poll is why they have us a fourth but we're third right here, so all it takes is for somehow, some way, LSU and West Virginia, one of them need to go down before the season ends, then we may be able to sneak into national championship. Now, if we do that with a C overall team with Murray State, and I win that national championship, I have to. I got some soul searching I got to do when it comes to 06, because I love this game so much, but I still want to make it fun. And in order to make it more fun, I guess I need to make it more challenging somehow, but we'll worry about that when we get... To that spot all right let's go to again top 25 polls this is going to show yeah they have us fourth in the coaches poll let's go to heisman watch and it's all miami and texas tech miami may be one of those teams that may sneak in back into those couple spots the lone loss was to virginia tech award finalists were up for a few awards there's glad hard that did not yes he is third He's really going to have to tear it up these next couple games in order to maybe win that award. But I always tend to split the carries a little bit with him and the others. He's second for the Walker. Then the rest of the awards doesn't affect us outside of the Coach Award, which I, it looks like I think we got a real good chance of winning that one unless we just play really bad these next couple of games. Bowl projections, this should be interesting. I figured they would have us way down here somewhere. They got us in the Sugar Bowl against Louisville, which I think that's really goofy. Is the Big East that bad where the leader of the conference is 4-5 and five on the season? That's just goofy, but whatever. That'll sort itself out, I guess. 
go to uh, conference standings. Let's check out some team information screens. Here's ours. Again, with no passing game whatsoever, we've been able just to roll right through this thing because all of our talent is, all, is in the backfield. Simmons is still nine touchdowns, five picks. Gladhar is still doing his thing. And look at the defensive side. Nothing has really changed except Crosby now, our outside linebacker. Is he the true freshman? I think he may be a redshirt freshman. I don't really remember. I think he's our true freshman. Is leading in interceptions. That's technically me controlling him most of the time there. That's still pretty cool to see. Now we can check out Tulane. They are Conference USA. Yes, they're right here. They don't have any injuries. Looks like they got a quarterback that's playing pretty well. 22 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Running the ball, nothing great. I mean, 88 average for the yards. And looks like they got a wide receiver doing okay. They got a one defensive player really putting up some numbers. Dillard leading in tackles and in sacks. But they just got trouts by, uh, to, uh, by Tulsa. So who knows what's going to happen. Looks like we got pretty weather. I like the tie, I like the suit, everything looks good up there, Brad. There's a chill in the air tonight, but it probably won't adversely affect either squad. Good weather, it's gonna be cold, but don't really mean anything. And the Murray State Racers. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. We finally packed out the place. Competing for a national championship. I mean, who would have thunk in year four? Yeah, he's having a great season and uh, just another great transfer pickup. Worked out really well. You're absolutely right. And of course, they're picking us. All right, let's go to the coin toss. We won it. We want the ball to start the second half. I did not do any scouting on Tulane. I think they run a 4-3, and their offense is balanced. I'm just not really sure. All right, they got an impact quarterback. He's got 72 speed, so I'm not too worried about that. We can finally blitz a quarterback. It's been a while since we've been able to. We've faced so many dual-threat quarterbacks this season. And they got an impact halfback, so everything they're going to do is going to be ran through their backfield. 87 speed. The fact that the quarterback has more talent than the halfback tells me they may pass more. We'll just see how that goes. Fullback, nothing there. Wide receiver, not a bad one. Wow, they just got a little mix of everything. I mean, they're they're five deep of pretty much the same type of talent. That's pretty good for that conference. I'd love to have at least one of those kids. You know, we're so depleted at wide receiver this season. Tight end, they got a pretty decent one. 80 overall, 76 speed, can catch a little bit. Look at their offensive line, 78, 65, 76. 88 and 84, so their right side of their line is pretty strong. Now, again, I think they run a 4-3. Now, this defensive end right here is humongous. He is a 3-4 defensive end for sure. And this other guy's really big, too. Maybe they run a 3-4. But they got a lot of defensive tackles. That kind of tells me they may run a 4-3. 56 overall, a true freshman, just an awful player. Impact middle linebacker. And an okay right outside linebacker. Not a whole lot at corner. They got like four guys that are all kind of like the same in terms of talent. Nothing got free safety, really. An okay strong safety. So their secondary is not the best. Their strength is definitely in their front seven. A terrible kicker. He's a true freshman and not a very good punter. We're going to do another high kick as usual until I get a better kicker in here. He kicks it. I definitely don't mind having this fair catching situation. What's going on in the football field? Ah, good throw. Just a good throw. Nice decision by the quarter. Zone blitz here. Intercept that. Nope. Well, they're going right down the field. Just a good throw against cover two. Their quarterback's off to a hot start. QB draw. Get a good stop there. Ah, you got to be kidding. And a face mask to go whip it. Well, this drive is not what we wanted. 
I told you in the comments, just don't surprise if Tulane plays a whole lot better than what Virginia Tech did. Right out of the gate, they're going to put up more points than the Hokies. Hopefully this ain't the end of the season game, we all fear. Stopped them at the goal line at least. I'm a little worried they're going to go off tackle here. Right there. Ah, dang it. Ooh, we stopped it. I knew that was going to do an off tackle play. Great stop. I've done that on part. I knew they was going to do an off tackle play. I've been playing this game for too long. Around goal line, when you're going up against gun teams, they always like to do halfback off tackle from gun normal or from gun spread, and that's what they called right there. Now, that may have been QB choice, but I just had a feeling they was going to go off tackle right there. That's why I shifted everybody to that side of the field. It's up, and it's good. They can have it. I'm all. I'm perfectly fine with that. They got a lefty kicker. And they'll be returning this one. No, I won't. I'm gonna let that one go. Okay, we're gonna go with our base play power option. I'm gonna bring this guy over. They are going man. Yeah, I feel a little unease on that one there. Let's see if I can take this out. Big play for Gladhart. And with that run, this young man has gone over 1,500 yards on the A weird pitch by the quarterback. I try to cut in right here. Okay. We're going to go halfback clear out. This is our fullback pass play. They are going man, so I'm going to let this one go do its thing. But they're going to go with a one high. Good catch. Not a very good throw. We can look at this one again. They went one high, but I was looking over here to my main man beater. He had a he short armed it, but Anderson made a great catch, one of his better catches of the season for sure. All right, we're gonna go slam. We'll just go to our right here. Good block there. Oh man, almost got in. Great play. Just good blocking across the board. I am going to run to the right. I'm gonna let Davidson get the touchdown. I feel like he's earned it. If we can get in. There we go. Let him have it. He should have got the touchdown on the last play. Nice little drive right down the field. And I have to remind myself, this is one of the easiest offenses to run in the game. And my talent fills that, you know, void. And I've said that several times, so I have to remind myself of that. If I was trying to throw the ball over the field, it would have been different. Nope, going with the toss. Oh, look at this play. Great defense by Schroeder. Go back to quarters. Oh, great play. Ah, oh, wow, great juke. I had a lot of field to cover, and I did not get over there in time. Interception by you-know-who, Abdullah. And he made... Uh-oh. Get off me, son. Get off me. That game's still going. Great play by Abdullah. I was able to get right in front of it. Only had one guy to cover. Just got in front of it. Made the play. Okay, I'm going to do play action. Now, they're going man. But I want to see. We'll do that. I don't know if Anderson can make that to intercept it. Yeah, just overshot it. Okay, I'm going to do basic power option again. Just want to get Gladhar involved. We'll go to our left. Get a block right there. Dang it. Ah, just a bad play right there. You go back and look at this. We just got stuck. I just got behind Myers, and that just ruined the rest of the play. So where are we? We're right there. I'm going to run the same play, but I'm going to run it from... Ich wins. I, this is two down territory for me, so I don't mind doing something like this. And making a play like that. Just a great play. They're going zone. And anytime I'm running option against zone, I'm always trying to think going vertical. So as soon as I can find a hole anywhere, I'm cutting up. And I see a humongous hole, obviously, right here. So the rest of it is just, you know, finding that hole and going up through it. And 
picking up the yards as many as you can. Just a great play by Simmons. All right, we're going to try our fullback pass play or red zone play, but they're going zone, so this will go to probably Clark or Gladhar. Good little catch, pick up a few yards there. We're going to go QB choice. I don't think I'm going to hand this off. Nope. Linebacker blitzed, you know. What do you do about that? Okay, third and long. I'm going to go with my deep outs play. This will more than likely have to go to Clark. I threw that way too hard. Just way too hard. At least I felt like I did. They went cover two. He threw it just way too low. Didn't mean to do that. We'll kick a field goal. Nice kick. The kicker's good enough to at least make, uh, you know, a, a little kick right that. So that's not too bad. It's not going to be the best kick, but it's still, he'll fair catch it. Perfectly fine where he catches it. I thought I wasn't going to get to him there, but thankfully nobody picked me up off the edge coming through here. Now, I almost cut it too sharply. It's the first sack I've had in a long time. Halfback draw, easy stomp there. I didn't know if they was going to get the ball off in time before the clock ended. And there we go. End of the first quarter, up seven. We'll go cloud. Nice play. Just very simple. Went too hard for the defender to make a play. Okay, let's see if Long can do something with this. I'd like to see a punt return. We haven't done that in quite a while. This hasn't really worked out for us for one way or one reason or another. we got a fair catch it here. Okay, we're going to run triple, but we're going to go to our left. I mean, our right. I wanted this guy out of the way, which means that's just, I can't motion. That's... I messed up here big time. I should have handed that off to Myers. You see that? I wasn't paying attention to that linebacker. I should have handed it off. I, I don't think Myers would have got much. For, he may could have, or Gladhard, sorry. I just completely botched that one. Should have looked at the linebacker. I thought I had a clear cut to the outside. It, I know I'm going to get a comment on that from somebody special. I get it. But I just, you know, it doesn't always work. But sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. In terms of the read. All right, I'm going to go back to basic option. Just try to make up those that play if we can. Good little run there. Just pick up the rest of the yards. Okay, I'm going to run basic speed option this time. We're going to go to our left, definitely. Have to cut around the tight end. I may just keep this one. Just to get out of bounds. Might as well. No reason for him to get hit. Okay, I'm going to run the the play-action play from Flex Twins, but they're going zone, so I don't know if this will work all that well. I'm not seeing anybody open. I may just take this off. It's just, yeah. Let's just pick up our yards and be done with it. I'm going to go back to QB Choice. I'm going to keep this, but I'm a little worried about that defensive end on the right. Good block, though. Great block. Good play overall right here. Again, I didn't know who, he, who was going to pick him up. It looks like they're tied in. Got him right there. And good blocking by Johnson. Enough to do damage the rest of the way. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No I'm gonna do triple again. We're gonna go to our left. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna read that linebacker on the left and see what happens. I think I read that correctly. I, again, uh, somebody who come on comments on here quite a bit always is really a big component on the linebacker read the left outside linebacker let's use my little telestrator while i'm here it's this guy right here since i'm going in this direction i'm reading this guy right here if he goes this way i want to feed it hand it off to my a back if not we'll do the exact opposite and i'm just reading him and as soon as i snap the ball i notice he kind of stayed put right there that kind of told me i needed to hand it off I think it would have had success either way, but there was just no hole right there for Gladhart to really go through, so I had to go back around. But I think I made the right choice. Okay, I'm going to do speed option this time from Gun Bunch. Simmons lines up in the shotgun. See if we can get decent blocking. Yeah, very easy. Nice. Good to see Simmons get a touchdown. Good blocking across the board. All for it. That's great. Also, I don't know if you notice, I love seeing a defensive end 
with a single number. That's awesome. I, I normally don't like to fool around with jersey numbers. It's just a little OCD for me, but it's really cool to see a defensive end have number one. Okay, we've stretched the lead a little bit, so let's kick an extra point and get back on defense. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Do another high kick. Gets it high from the air, not One of his better ones. Get it down to the 30 this time. He's going to take it. And went the other way. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> I'll be. That was just a goofy play all around. I feel like a lot of that was my fault. Almost intercepted. Oh, come on, Crosby. That could have been your fourth. Somebody stop him. There you go. We're going to do cloud since the third and long. He drops back. Wants to go long and does. Uh oh. Ooh, dropped it. That's just good defense Ooh. right there, Coach. It was Kirk. I didn't know. I was a little worried about my safety. I thought he was going to get an interception here over the top. I was almost willing to take him over right then, but I was like, eh, I better not. I actually controlled the free safety. I didn't mean to do that. And I stopped. He actually swatted down. So he'd done a better job than I would have. Okay. We're going to do an all-out block. Hopefully, they don't fake it, which means we are not returning this. They're not going to do their protection look. Okay, they're going zone. I want to run my fullback deep pass play, but since they're going zone, I'm going to switch that up. I don't really forgot what my audible was. I don't mind showing you this. Let's go. It's L1. I thought it was L1. So we'll just switch that over. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Floats this one right side. Just good defense. I was fixing to get sacked, so I had to get that one off. We'll go back and run power. We're definitely going to go to our left. That's some excellent shifting. Good block there. Good play all around. Good way to pick up those yards again. I'm going to go back and run triple. Now I'm going to go to the left this time. Davidson. I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to read that left outside linebacker or the one that's to our left. And I've done that incorrectly, so that makes sense now. It just makes, I mean, sometimes it, when I saw him come through, for whatever reason, I just felt like, hey, let's hand it off, which you're not supposed to do. I should have kept it. So that's my fault. If Gladhart won an impact player, we would have lost some yards there. So I should have kept that ball for sure. I just don't run enough triple to practice it enough. It's such a quick read. We're going to go slam. I'm going to go to the left. I'm a little worried about... Ooh, okay. Good block there. Just a killer play by Gladhar. He's a stud. What can I say? Okay. We're going to go with our quick slants play. I want to... I want this to be for Simmons. So I'm going to do this. And see if this works or not. It looks like it's going to... And I think he's going to get in for the end zone. Good play right there. We can break this down. Normally, this is for the halfback. The halfback's usually right here, and he's doing like a flare, which is my man beater. But this time, I wanted Simmons to handle it. So I just done a basic bootleg, and everybody and their brother was on somebody else besides the quarterback because that play is not designed for the quarterback to run with it. So there's nobody on him technically unless somebody is running a spy. And from what I can tell, we can zoom in here and look. I don't think any of these linebackers were running spy. Looks like this guy was on him, that guy was on him, and one of them came in the blitz. So I had all this room. It's just me and this safety right here. And it was just too late for him by the time I got to the end zone. Okay, that was a good drive. So we'll kick an extra point and get back on defense. I didn't think about the time. I just now noticed that. We got less than a minute. I probably could have used some of that time. That's okay. We'll do another high kick. This one's not going to be as far. At least he fair caught it. Little mesh look right there out of five wide. We'll just run the same thing. Go out of quarters. I'm not going to deal any. He may catch that. Eh, just, yeah. 
safety done a terrible job. I, I need to start taking him over more. He just blew past off both of them. And neither one was able to get up high enough to make a swat. Well, so much for that big momentum we had. That went out the window. We still up two scores, though, so I'm not too worried. And he tacks on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac Drive summary to recap what just happened. Decent kick. Looks Maybe we can get something going here. 46 seconds of three timeouts. I may be able to try something. Oh, wow. That was a wild move. I wasn't expecting that. Go back and look at this. I don't know what happened here. I didn't see, I mean, not, there wasn't any very good blocking, but I was able just to bounce off of him somehow. I don't know. It was weird. We'll take it. Ended up close to the 50 yard line, or I'm on past the 40. We're going to go deep outs. He's coming down. Simmons comes to the line with we'll do some hot routing. Simmons. They're bringing everybody. Let's see if Clark can get underneath it. Ah, he overshot it. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. They went cover zero. He just threw it too far. So I'm going to go basic power option here. If we run the ball, you know, if we stay in bounds, they may call a timeout or we can get a first down from it. Nah, just a terrible play right there. Just get out of bounds. Pick up the first. 30 seconds. They're going zone. I'm going to go to my fullback red zone play. Get out of bounds right there. Second and two. They're going man 4-3, and I'm going quick slants. Now, in this case, I think I'm going to let Gladhar handle it. And they're going 4-3, so I'm going to move this guy over. Force that linebacker to pick him up. Just enough to get a first down. 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds to go. They're going man. I'm going to go back to my fullback play. And they are going 4-3, so we're going to move this guy over. They'll throw on first down. And he's wide open for six points. Hopefully he can get, get in. Good deal. All right. That's a good answer to their touchdown. Great little play to Myers. We can go back and look at this. I'm curious to see, because I moved Gladhart over, I forced either this guy, this guy, or this guy to cover him. And I don't know which one was it. Oh, great. Ended up being this guy right here that had to cover Myers. Look at this. There is no way that guy can keep up with Myers. And Myers only has 80 speed, but there's just no way he can keep up with him and make a play. At least when we're only needing 10 yards, of course. But he had to go all the way. And he got stuck on his own defender. See, that's why you move around that do that motion stuff. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But you're just increasing the odds of something like that happening. And he ended up being wide open right here. Just a good little play. We've used that a ton the last couple of seasons because of that guy right there. The half is about over with. We'll get back on defense and finish out the quarter. And he hits the PAT. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. We're going to do another high kick. It's a high short kick. Good stop there. He went with it. I'm surprised he did. So it looks like they may try something here. They got the quarterback to do it. He's he's not bad. And he got sacked. I wasn't paying attention. Looks like Mitchell ended up getting him. Look at the stats here. 314 yards of offense. They just can't keep up with us. Their offense isn't too bad. Their passing is pretty good. They had that one deep ball. We was able to stop the other one. So we're 50 for, you know, 50 percent on those trying to stop them. The, their biggest problem is they can't convert third down. So we've done a good job on that. They've had the one turnover. That helps a whole lot. Now let's go to individual stats. I want to check out the running. Pretty balanced across the board. Gladhard, Simmons, and Davidson. Simmons, that's that comes naturally with the option looks. But 116 yards already for Glenar. I wish he'd get more touchdowns, but it just it's just not working out that way. Simmons already has a couple, and Davidson has one. Okay, third quarter. Let's start it off strong with a touchdown, hopefully. He kicks it. Simmons takes it from the six. Just don't fumble it. So before the offense hits Okay, I'm gonna go back to triple option counter from Flex. They're doing that. I still feel like I have no choice but to go right. 
So I'm going to read that far right linebacker and just see what happens. Hopefully I can do it quick enough. Nope, I didn't do it right. I was supposed to keep it. He still may end up getting a touchdown here. We can go back and look at it. We can go back and look at this. I think that's... No, I've done that correctly. I did do that correctly. What worried me is as soon as I saw Olsen right there block this guy, as soon as I saw him block that, I was thinking, man, I should have kept that because look at all this room we have up this lane right here. But I just... I, what I done was according to Castle Ford, if anybody wants to know how to run the option supposedly correctly, you have to read that uh, play side linebacker. And I just saw him kind of sitting there thinking, okay, maybe I just need to hand it off to the A back. It ended up working out just because this guy right here, well, let me just use my teleprompter. It ended up helping because this safety right here came in and squeezed in and he had nowhere to go, leaving all this room open that way. Another touchdown. We'll take that for sure. Get an extra point off. And I'm hoping we can put in some second string here by the fourth quarter. Do another high kick. Let's crank this up. There we go. So I'm going to do quarters again. I feel like they're just going to throw more than run. Get a stop. Ah, dang it. I should just let him do his thing. That's my fault. Sometimes you just let, need to let the computer handle it. So I picked the wrong play. We're going to do a zone blitz. I got another guy blitzing right here. I'm going to control him myself and do something like this. Yeah. I just picked the wrong play, but we still stopped him. Got three yards. Now I'm going to do zone blitz. Call the right play this time. Great play. I, just, I thought he was going to make that catch. That's a tough throw. I'm going to go back to Cloud since it's third and long. Good defense by Abdullah. That quarterback done a great job right here. Look at him going through the pocket right here. Navigating. I thought I may have had a chance right there, but the halfback picked me up pretty well. I thought he was going to get sacked right there, and he didn't. That was great protection right there. Somehow he got through without getting sacked, but thankfully Abdullah made a play. I hope they don't fake it. They easily could. But this punt block situation has really helped us out in these situations. Kudos to, again, I forgot your name for giving me that tip. Okay, we're going to go man 4-3. That's the defense. I'm so sorry. We're going to go slam. Uh, let's go to our left. Just give us a little more grass to play with. Uh, I hesitated just enough for him to make the tackle. We're going to do a basic option, this time from slot. I like what everybody done right there. Let's get him out of the way. Had to pitch that one off quick. Got solid yards from Glad Hart. Good hit by that linebacker. I don't think Simmons got up. So I have a lot of field to play with, and I wanted to call RB clear out, but they're going zone. So let's pick the zone beater. One's a little bit better against that defense. Go right here and get about five yards with Myers. Okay, gun bunch. They're going zone. I want to do QB choice, but they're doing that. So I think I'm going to keep this with Simmons. And we're going to do something like this. It's just a bad play overall. I had I couldn't go to the right. I was going to get killed. Davidson was going to get his head knocked off. And my left tackle didn't do a very good job on that defensive end. And then my pulling guard, I don't know what he was doing there. And I don't even know where my... Why, where was my... Why, okay, yeah. I was looking for my tight end. I didn't even know if he'd done anything. We can look here. He picked up somebody, but I'm surprised he didn't go out instead of in like he did. The They're going man nickel. I'm going to go basic power option because that's our best play. And we got our best players out there to run it. We'll just go to the right. Just enough. Okay. Simmons is gassed. You could tell he was very slow on that play. So we're going to have to back off the option a little bit until Simmons can get healthy again. It's a good tackle by that safety or corner. We're going to go back to A-Slam. We're going zone. 
We'll just leave it as is. That's not going to cut up. Good little run there. Just good protection all around. What's the thing? And we could talk about this. If I could somehow figure out, I, I really don't want full sliders. I don't think they work as well as some people think they do. But I just feel like our protection is just really good. Our offensive line, I mean, I've recruited well enough to get guys who can push some guys around. And I got a 280-pound tight end who's pretty much an offensive lineman himself. So having plays like this, it just it just worked out well. Okay, I'm going triple. And they're doing that. So this is going to be interesting. We're definitely going to go to our right. I just felt the need to keep that. I mean, it just seemed obvious. Like, you can look at this linebacker here on the right. This is the guy who I'm reading. He, I don't know, as soon as I snap it, he backs off. So I actually have several options here. But look at all this grass. That's why sometimes I want to read the linebacker. Sometimes I just want to look and see what the numbers are at. Do I got leverage on the outside? And just look, I got so much room back there. It just didn't make a whole lot of sense for me to give this to Gladhar anyways. And I think he looked like he was going to get beat up in the middle right there by that impact player. But it just seemed too obvious just to go to the outside regardless of what was going to happen on the inside. So you got those situations. So it's not an end-all, be-all in how to run these triple option plays. Sometimes it does help to look at a linebacker. Sometimes it helps. And there's just a humongous hole there. Sometimes it helps. If you got all this grass to work with, it makes the, your decision easier. I guess it's all situational. Okay, extra point. And I think... We were going to put her on a third or second string at the start of the fourth quarter. Just another, oh, I kicked it like normal. And we stopped it. That's good. Yeah, I forgot to do my normal high kick on that last one. Good stop there. A couple, maybe three yards. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Down the ah, great play. Good throw. I didn't know who to defend, to be honest. That was a good throw, though. Great stop, Abdullah. Zone blitz. Thankfully, he went to that side. I'm going to call the same play. We're going to do another zone blitz. Love to see him go play action. Nope, ain't going to get him there. Way too easy. I don't know what who he was throwing to. He just got right in front of that one. We can go back and look at this again. He just got in front of it. I guess he just didn't see him. Okay, they threw an interception. I want to go back to our play action look here. They're going man. They're going one high. We'll just go to our tight end, and he drops it. Now you know why I don't throw as much. Now you understand why I don't throw to our receivers a whole lot. They've just been struggling this year. Now, So I called the wrong play again. We're going triple here. The problem is I got Myers can't run the ball very well, so I'm definitely keeping this. Plus, look at all this room on the left side. It just makes sense to go to, you know, no matter what was going to happen underneath. It just made no difference. We can go back and look at it. See if we get a decent little instant replay here. Normally, you're kind of supposed to read, I guess, this guy. The only downside to run a triple for some of these like twins and trips looks is because you're going to get a lot of heavy shifting from uh, these defenses when you call formations, you know, like this. But that's why the flex bone guys really love the normal formation, the flex bone normal formation. That's because you don't see much shifting. It's easier for your quarterback to make the right read in the real real world. Here it's it's still kind of the same thing. But either way, I was kind of looking I was kind of looking at this guy right here. And but my mind kept telling me, I'll just play it smart and just go all the way over here because everybody and their brother shifted to that side. It just would have made a difference. So looking here, I'm glad I didn't hand it. Here's the other thing. You can go back and look at this. This guy cut in this way, so it's almost like, hey, why not just hand it off to Myers? The problem is you can't account for this guy right here coming through like he did. It's just super easy for him. So you go through here, and he just made a killer play. Thankfully, I kept it. Otherwise, if I went by that strict rule of just staring at that linebacker, I would have. But either way, 
there's just too much room over here. So it just made obvious sense to throw it, you know, to go option in, in that side of the field. So I'm going triple here. In the red zone again. I'm just curious to see. I'm going to read that right. Yeah. Eh, it's just good defense right there. They just shut everything down on that right side. He came through right there. That's why I kept it. You saw him blitz like he did. So I'm like, okay, I'll just keep it. So I think I made the right decision. But what happens when your tight end can't block like he done right there? Now you're just kind of stuck. So just good defense all around. Loss of a yard. Okay, I'm going to go back to QB choice. I'm going to hand this off. Simmons. A little worried, but we'll see what happens. Good blocking. It worked out. Better than I thought. Oh, he didn't get in. I don't even think he got the first. So it's third and one. We're going to hand this off. I'm going to let Gladhart handle this one. Just let him pick up a touchdown. All right, we're going to put in the second string going forward. Let Gladhart finish it off strong. First string as well. Tacks on the extra point. Just a few seconds remaining now in the third quarter. And our score, Murray State 52, Tulane 10. Looks like they're ready for the... Okay, this ain't going to be the last play of the quarter. He should have to catch it. And I completely botched this kick. Kicks it high and very short. Walker Didn't mean to do that. He hauls it in. We're going to go back to a zone blitz. I got the first string in there for one last play. I wanted them to finish out the quarter. Intercept that. He somehow knew it was coming. <laughs> and we're going to go back and do another zone blitz. We'll go inside right here. Oh, uh oh. There he goes. Somebody stop it. Oh, you got to be kidding. What do you do? You know, he just made a good play. They ran the opposite side of the blitz. One, two. And I couldn't get him right there. Three. Just a good play. See if he'll get an extra point. Eventually he'll do it. There you go. And he hits the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drop. So I accidentally called the timeout. Good Didn't mean to do that. We're gonna do an onside kick. With the onside We're gonna let that one just bounce. Let that get out of bounds. Yeah. So what we can do, let's look at our players here. Our backup quarterback, Dan Hurst, he is a kid from New Hampshire. Can throw it a little bit. I'd love to throw it some. So I may try to do that, but I don't have any depth at wide receiver. So it's going to be like Johnson and Coleman are going to do most of that. And tight ends, my, that guy. So. Okay, I'm going to go with that play action play. I may just go to Davidson here unless they go. They're doing that. No, cover one. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get that one. Good play by Johnson. We can break this play down. Good little throw. I think that was Dan Hurst's first throw of his career at Murray State. That's a mismatch and a half. Look how big that kid is. So I am running the the play action screenplay from Ich Wins. You got to go right here, and I think you got a cross or like something like that, and then you got your halfback right here for a screen while these guys go out and block for him somehow, some way. Well, they're going man, and I'm always looking for this guy over here is my cover zero beater. And if he's not open, I'll probably just go to the halfback anyway. Just cross around can work, but sometimes his defender could get underneath him and can make a play. But thankfully, when you snap the ball, they technically, it looks like it's cover zero, but this guy right here, due to the play action, is actually going cover one. He's just kind of sitting there waiting and see what the play action does before he makes a play. So by the time I'm in full play action mode and that's over with, he has no chance getting over here to make a play. So a perfect throw by Hurst. Really, I mean, I wish I could find a way to get it to the sideline like that every time. I want to keep throwing just because I haven't got the throw in so much over the year. And you know me, I love to throw more than anything else. So I want to get my, my fix in. So we're going to go with a... Just your standard curl flat look on one end with a zig out on the out other side. And they're going, man, this is probably going to go to Olsen. Unless they go cover zero and they're going to. And, oh, good catch by Coleman. 
Right here, this is where I get excited because I just like pass the ball. The going man, my man beaters, or I can use this guy right here doing like a post. That's a terrible looking post. Or this zig out this way. So if it's cover zero up here, if not, cover one or two to this guy right over here. And as you see, both safeties come up. So I'm just waiting until he makes his final move before I give it to him. And he is able to get between his defender and the ball to make a good little play. And that may be his first catch of his career here. So I forgot that I'm in the middle of the field, but they're going man, so I can make this work anyway. So Boyd, I don't even know if Boyd can make this catch, but I'll probably just go to him anyway just to keep it simple. We're going to let this clock roll, though. I have no need to hurry up and run plays, but yeah, he's not fast enough. We're just going to get down. I just called a wrong play. I didn't mean to really go to him. Okay, we're going to do another simple flat out look at a flex twins. They are going man, so I'm going to go to Olsen. Again, Olsen's very slow. He can't catch, so this is probably a dumb play to call. But I just, I just have to throw the ball. I'm getting the itch. And I picked the wrong play, or I picked the wrong player. I was supposed to go to the other side. <laughs> Okay, they're going man, and ah, uh, dang it! I'm gonna I'm gonna call a timeout. I don't have the right players. Uh, now let's just go ahead and call it. Hurst drops to throw, looking, end zone. And he dropped it because he's not a wide receiver. <laughs> that was a very good throw, but Simmons is a cornerback, and we don't have enough wide receivers to even play on the second string. So that was my fault for picking a play from a three wide look. It's up. Another good field goal there. I'm going to kick it like normal. Kicks it off. I had better kick than what I expected. Can, can we stop him? This is what worries me. Get him. There we go. We're going to do basic quarters out of 4-3. I got to stay in 4-3 the rest of the way. I don't have Deb to really run nickel with the second string. Good stop there on the QB draw. We are going to go zone blitz. Let's see if Allen can make him play. I have basic run. Uh-oh. He didn't get the first, thankfully. So I don't have the depth to run 4-4 against this goal line look. Uh, oh, we stopped it. I'll be. Good job. All right. We'll get back on offense. I'd like to run out the rest of that clock. Still throw. He's going to return this one. Long fields it at the 22. Good stop there. The offense goes. So I'm going to run vertical at I twins. They're going man. Um, Racers go with the I formation. I may just do something like this. Let's we'll see what happens. They're going one high. Look across the middle. Hey, I shouldn't have thrown it to him. I forget he can't catch. Okay, let's just run the ball to extend the drive and run clock. Because I have, I didn't have much help before with my wide receivers in first string. I can't imagine the second string helping me out a whole lot either. That's a good play by the defense. They just swarmed it. Okay, I'm going to run. I've been playing around with this play in practice mode. I'm loving this mesh with a go post over the top. This is going to be a good little zone. They're going zone. I'm going to try to go to... Ah, I forgot it's Olsen sitting right there. We'll call it anyways. He's looking. Rolling out to the left side. Wow, great throw. Hirsch has got a good little arm on him. He, he threw it right in there. He went cover two. Right there. I mean, it was super close. I almost got swatted. Great little throw by Hurst. Nice. I love that play. The mesh underneath. You can do a lot of good things with it. Okay, I'm going to run the clock the rest of the way out. I'm going to do a QB kneel. The problem is I didn't call it on this one, so we'll get this play out of the way, and then we'll take a knee the rest of the way. We'll just run clock after that. And I'll probably end up cutting out some of this other footage if I can. There's no point you guys seeing these knees. And Olsen went down. Ugh, please don't be seriously hurt. Injured his hand. For him being a second string tight end, he's very important to us. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get this off. I mean, they may call a timeout. The clock ain't going to work out for us, I don't think. There's the kneel down by the quarterback. After two quarters, good. 
That could have been much worse. So he's not going to miss anything. All right, end of the game. Good deal. Make sure you stay in the video and see if we can pick up that commitment. Simmons had a great day. Clark, I think he had one good catch. Okay, let's check out some stats. We had 600 yards of offense. Like, just nothing could go wrong today on that side of the ball. 461 yards rushing. <laughs> and we threw the ball a whole lot more than, than normally we did. Of course, you know, in the fourth quarter, we threw the ball pretty much on every play when Hurst got in there, which I enjoy doing because I just really enjoy throwing the ball around. Let's see. We didn't have any sacks. Here's the other big thing. They had turn two turnovers. We had a very clean game ourselves. We can check out some individual stats. Simmons, 7 of 11. 62 yards. You know, that's a lot of, of completions for little yards coming out of that. But it's cool to see Hurst get four uh, completions out of 85 yards. You know, half of that was off that one big play out of the jump. Let's check out the rushing. Gladhart, 281 yards rushing. Good to see him have a really killer day. And to get two touchdowns as well. Davidson got two touchdowns. And so did Simmons. Look at the receiving. I haven't got to look at this in forever. I mean, we we threw it enough to at least look at it. Myers had three receptions, had one touchdown. The rest of them, there were no touchdowns. But Myers, Clark, Gladhart, Olson, Boyd, Coleman, Johnson, Anderson. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different guys got to catch the ball today. Who would have expected that? That's, I mean, I didn't plan that by all means, but that's just weird to see that many guys get to touch the ball through the air. Looking at the defense, Ab I felt like Abdullah had the best day for sure. He had the most tackles. He had one sack. He had an interception. He had the most tackles for loss. Just a great day for him. Maybe the best game of the season for him. And there you go. We picked up our eighth commitment of the regular season. That's very hard to do. I haven't done it maybe just about a handful of times throughout the, se at the years. But that just shows you that the spreading the points at the very beginning, I think that's maybe the better strategy in the end. You just have a better chance of getting more players, obviously. Because before, if you're going to put you know points into just five or four guys, the most you'll ever get is five players to commit. At least this way, you got a chance to at least go after eight or nine or however many. Well, I mean, we spread our points to like all 12 or however many as at least looks somewhat interested and doesn't have like a negative pitch or anything. But either way, it's good to see Keith Magruder Coming to the fold. So when you go up to here, let's go to recruiting. We are done with recruiting. We got one more regular season game to go. But it's really cool to see eight of these guys commit to us. So it's going to be a whole lot of fun seeing these guys play here in the next couple seasons. I can't wait to unleash them in one way or the other. All right, come on back. We will take on Louisville in the next Dynasty video. We got a bye week. So I'm going to simulate that. There's nothing for you to see because recruiting is over with. So as soon as you come back for the next video, we will definitely be taking on Louisville to finish off the season in state rivalry. I'd love to beat them. That'd be a whole lot of fun. And if you look up at the very top, we're number three in the country. We could be, we still may be number three in the BCS. We'll see what happens. We look at Louisville right here. They're five and five. They're just very average, not very good at anything. Their passing attack is okay. And their turnover differential is really good. But it's the end of the season. You never know what's going to happen. But either way, I think we got a chance to beat these guys and do a whole lot more special things. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.